Hello, another internet historian video, and this time it's the failure of Dashcon, the world's first Tumblr convention. Um, I have no idea about this Dashcon. My assumption, just judging by the name, is that it's a My Little Pony Tumblr con uh, convention, which could be fun. Um, Obviously, it's going to be a failure, and that's even more fun. Uh, so, I mean, I have, f like, some memories of Tumblr. I never used the site, but I do remember, because isn't Tumblr, like, 10... Didn't it die, like, 10 years ago? It probably died when I was, like, a young teenager. Uh, it's, fuck, it's probably more than 10 years. Uh, but if I remember correctly, I think it was like, was it an aggregate of a bunch of vlogs, not vlogs, blogs, or was it a site f to make personal vlog? Why do I say vlogs? Blogs. I'm so used to saying vlogs that the term blog just dis disappears from my mind. Um... That's pretty much all I know from Tumblr, and I guess that is kind of like was filled with like SJW, like that type of stuff. Like, oh god, like I heard that and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna go to the site at all. I don't care about this stuff. Uh, so actually, this could be fun to see something completely new. And then after this video, the next one I'm gonna do is the the Swedish job. Um, so I'm, as I'm slowly like watching the internet historian videos, like from the shortest video to the longest is kind of how I'm going while only looking at the ones that like catch my eye. And this one, while well, I didn't, it caught my eye when I read Dashcon, like until I <laughs> decided to record like four minutes ago. I didn't even pay attention that it said Tumblr, so in my mind I was like, oh god, is this like Ronicon, uh, but a failure? So basically Trotcon? Who knows? In March of 2013, oh, Jesus, a group of Tumblr users come up with a brilliant idea. Dashcon. A convention specifically for and <coughs> by Tumblr users. This is their story. Oh, maybe it doesn't have Dash anything car. to do with <sighs> My Little Pony. Marriott in Chicago. Only $65 I mean, to be fair, My Little Pony would only be like, epic and I'm, I'm specifically talking about reading. Friendship LGBT is Mass, Friendship is Magic. Alright. Right. Would, would only be like four years. Steam Power Giraffe Live Show. The Baker Street Babes. And friendly memes, you bet. Expect 5,000 <laughs> Don't recognize any of that. See you there. Whoosh. Obviously, one of those comes Friday, as friendly memes was from this reality. show, Futurama. Never show watched that show. But nothing is scheduled until 1 p.m., so people just wait around for the next four hours. So oh, okay. Did you decide that this is what you wanted to so do it's kind of like a failure on the case of the thug life things thug just. Turns out, oh, Steam Power Giraffe cancelled months ago. Sorry. If you bought special tickets, no <laughs> Alright. Lol. Check out the games room. One I mean, TV, pretty asshole of the, the band not to people. inform that people of that. Forward to. Like, oh, we cancelled months Death ago. To and all the... <laughs> Overall, it's I mean, I agree with pre-Palestine, but okay, so maybe not the death. Okay, so you the the Batman movie shooter. Uh, what made you choose this costume? Um, it's like, what? what? You decide to I am the, the shooter. Prime Minister of Israel to this convention. <laughs> I say dress for the job you want. That's a good response. All right. Disaster that's a good strike. response to the that bill question. For the venue has I'm probably going to use that. The hotel will immediately steal all the that. Will be shot at okay, the convention some, someone says something like that. Dress, dress for the job you want. Wait, what? Didn't you already have? I mean, maybe not extortion, but it is assholes because I'm sure people have traveled there and then all of a sudden it's kind of like, ah, oh, unless we get $17,000, 
We're gonna get kicked out, so they're kind of, oh fuck. I might as well spend the money. But they raise the money, and the con continues. Saturday. How? Artists and stallholders who paid 150 bucks each for their tables aren't selling anything because their customers just donated all of their cash. Tumblr's yeah, turned okay. on the convention. I was thinking that the $150 for a table isn't that much, right? Does it doesn't sound that much for like a merch table? Money. Donate to PayPal. But if this is their they first convention, the okay. Try to have certain events shut down. Mark does stuff. A gay Hispanic panelist. Wasn't Tumblr like a big site at the time? Because they think he's a or was this like after they already died? Is this the gay for so 2014? Right. Is illegally played to an audience of 100. Tumblr that was eight sends years ago. To Del Toro to get them in trouble. Or maybe Dr. this Horrible was kind of like and the thing that killed Tumblr. Right concerns. Then the main event. As long as we get to see a live reading from Welcome to Night Vale, it'll all be okay. All right. What? <laughs> what? What? All right, that's such. I agree with whoever that guy is. Sitting in that room, giving back my fucking money. Fuck you, Night Vale. Change the rules on the website so that there are no refunds. <coughs> but don't worry, there's a silver line. <laughs> also, no refunds. Paid extra to see Welcome to Night Vale is entitled to a free extra hour in the ball pit. This is what your seventeen thousand dollars went to. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And that meme is born. The guy. So is this, I assume that's the guy who also asked about the Palestine and Israel and all that stuff. So obviously someone who went there just to fuck around. Well at least we got some footage from him, right? I guess the ball pit was very popular. By the early afternoon the vendors pack up and leave. Some shitty panels happen. I mean, to be fair to them, again, they don't have any cash. sure, you're five They're people, but maybe you take up the space of like right. ten. The teenage unpaid helpers who are promised free me, are given me just me takes up the space of three people. There's a full-on so, yeah. organizer meltdown. And Tumblr finds out that the main artwork used for the convention is in fact stolen copyright material. <laughs> All right. By the evening, the unthinkable happens. The ball pit starts to deflate. And someone pisses in it. Perfect. Sunday. I mean, the ball pit is taken Don't away. all ball pits. Also, Tumblr finds out that Random like Acts, in them. a charity that Dashcon claims to be partnered with, isn't in fact partnered at all. Hmm. Which means, by the way, they've just been pocketing the money. At least isn't that the illegal. Host an official but apology this is in America, so maybe that isn't illegal. Your first timers. All right. <laughs> don't say. Don't say you're going to make another one. Oh my God. Here's a quick summary of that. What a. No, I'm not gonna say anything. I say like a lot as well. I blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. And everything like is closed. Yeah, I have to push the blame on someone else. Since Dashcon, there have been many rumors online that the whole thing was an out-and-out -out scam. So I did some detective work to see whether it was true. I think what I found proves that even if the staff didn't set out to scam people, they did oh, opportunistically pencil. steal and lie. Prepare for some high-quality autism. Dashcon had a written agreement to pay $40,000 plus some change to the Renaissance Hotel Marriott. They paid $20,000 before the thing began, so they had a balance oh, of $20,000. Oh, okay, so they paid, they, they decided we're going to pay half now and then like half after. And could they please pay as the door sales came in? As a financially risky move, the Marriott agreed verbally, but not in writing. On the first day, the hotel sees at most 1,000 people. They know that Dashcon's door sales are fucked, so they enforce immediate payment as per their written contract. Dashcon does not have the funds. And here's where it gets interesting. Dashcon claims they only have $3,000 in cash. All so right. at 9 p.m., Dashcon staff gather everyone into one room to beg for the remaining 17,000. Let's do a head count. 33, 129, 120, maybe another 33 here in case there are people on the margin. And 10% uh, to be generous. It's uh, no. unlikely that there are more than 350 people in the I don't agree room. with this. Now this we sounds, know they reached uh, from the internet historian, this is way too like 
bullshitty. Really? Yes. That's pretty cool. Did you do it? We did it in under an hour. Really? Yeah. They receive donations by PayPal and cash, but only a small fraction in cash. I'm sure, it doesn't seem like there might, the might have been like super many months. people, but I see people donating in the footage, and it's probably much less. So even if each cash and also speculating only ten percent give money, that's only seven hundred dollars total. And that they only will give twenty. The other sixteen thousand or so. Is this doesn't make sense to me. Where are you getting these numbers? Like this leaked list. Of obviously, he's just doing speculation. But I think the speculation that's happening is very cash poor. Almost twelve thousand dollars. But they only could have got seven hundred from the donors, and they only How? got three thousand in cash. So where did the rest of it How come could they from? only get that? It's door sales revenue, not donations. Meaning they lied about only having three thousand dollars in the first place. They actually had at With least a hit, 10, a big okay, wait. Now here are big asterisks on your part. PayPal Mastercard. Let's take that from the total owed, and what we get is the following: in a best case scenario. Of the donated seven thousand dollars. Alright, this part of the video, I'm like, at most, I'm spacing out because this is so bullshit. The they spent over the, two thousand like, dollars on themselves. The and things that he, like his high quality autism, is that autistic so enough? They pocketed. Also, they're liars. Because I was on stage for an hour in front of five thousand people. <laughs> okay. In a room. I mean, that is also bullshit. People here. I mean, if it was 5,000 people, they would be dead. <laughs> yeah, true champions. <laughs> I mean, that is high quality autism. Alright, internet historian. That, whoever that guy is, he beat you. An official Dashcon DVD is listed. And it's possible that a copy exists out there somewhere, and I need to find it. So I want to put a hundred dollar bounty out for anyone who might have a copy. It doesn't need to be the physical DVD, just a copy of the file itself. Okay. The hunt is on. Well, I'm sure if it existed, he's gotten it. I think this was released like six years ago, so... This is not a Night Vale panel. Do not attend this panel. Uh. Okay. Although dry. All right. And um, next time, probably in a week, I'll watch the Swedish job. This one seems more interesting than what I just watched. Um, I will say out of the, this is the third Internet Historian video I've seen, and out of the three, I think this is the worst one. This is the one that I would say I actively did not like. The other ones, sure, sure, they were a bit confusing, and I didn't really know about the subject that he's talking about. But at least I got some enjoyment from them, and I kind of... It didn't feel like, to me, this felt like, especially the part of uh, the money, where the money comes from, all that. It feels like Internet Historian has, like, some beef with these people, and he's using, like, that speculation part to, like, shit talk them in a sense, and call them scammers. Um, or using that opportunity to scam. Um... I mean, I don't know anything about Ashka. Maybe there are like some things he didn't mention in this video that indicate what he's saying. But I think just from what he showed in this video, I like, 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 like. I feel like it's a very poor. I mean, the only thing that I enjoyed was the was were the clips of whoever that guy was going around and just like griefing and trolling pe like people who are attended the convention by just asking them like stupid questions and are laughing at them in the ball pits you know like oh god you wanted to go to night veil panel and the night veil guys just <laughs> ghosted you and now you got an extra hour here <laughs> you know like that was funny 
uh, but the actual internet historian parts I didn't enjoy. Um, yeah. Like when the guy talked to who I assume was one of the organizers when he said that 5,000 people. Uh, yeah, sure, 5,000 people. But maybe he was just talking, you know, like, oh, God. Like, I was in, a, in front of a crowd of, like, a million people. Like, he's over-exaggerating. But he means, like, just a lot of people. I don't know. And then I actually thought of very funny. Back to my post. That was, that was funnier. So that guy out autist out, out autism the internet historian uh, so yeah and yeah these guys were not affiliated this was like an unofficial tumblr convention uh, I thought that it would be actually my tumblr the site itself and that would be even more fun if it was by them and it became this total failure because wasn't that like a huge but this was too when when did tumblr die because if this was after tumblr died tumblr death oh uh, wait when did tumblr when did tumblr end oh wait tumblr still exists okay they're not actually dead they still exist and in 2013, so basically in 2014, it was owned by Yahoo. Uh, now it's owned by Automatic. Oh, yeah, they own WordPress. All right, I had no idea Tumblr still existed. I mean, that completely took me out for a loop. Like, oh shit, I thought Tumblr was gone. So maybe the reason why I thought Tumblr went under probably was around 2012. Yeah, because I, I feel like... Uh, what did I say? Like 10 years ago? Um, yeah, so basically I thought that Tumblr probably died when I was 16, probably. And I knew about Tumblr a few years before that. And decided to never go on that site because I did not give a fuck about politics. And I thought it was just like a political blog site. It's kind of like, why would I get involved in this? Like... I don't give a fuck about Anglosphere-y-an politics, you know. Um. All right. Well, it might be interesting to read a little bit about the Wikipedia article on Tumblr. Um, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.